Looking for a dedicated IP VPN, but not sure if you need it? <laughs> most users look for the most reliable, fastest, and cheapest option on the market, expecting dedicated IPs to just solve all their issues. Does it really work like that, or are you looking in the wrong direction? In this video, I'm gonna address all these questions and give you the best dedicated and shared IP VPN option on the market. So, what is the best dedicated IP provider? That would be NordVPN for multiple reasons. First of all, it has the best privacy and security, no matter if you go for its dedicated or static IP. From the privacy-friendly jurisdiction, independently audited no logs policy and RAM only servers, to unbreakable encryption and certified anti-phishing features, NordVPN is chock full of cybersecurity tools. Secondly, NordVPN dedicated IP currently offers the broadest range of countries, 28, as opposed to Surfshark's 11, CyberGhost's 12, and PIA's 10. Thirdly, NordVPN maintains a fast connection even when connecting to a long distance dedicated IP server thanks to an innovative NordLynx tunneling protocol. If that's all you need from your dedicated IP VPN, look no further. You can get NordVPN with an exclusive discount through the link in the description or this QR code. That said, <laughs> I'm not finished covering NordVPN's benefits. Fourth comes its compatibility. NordVPN has apps for all major operating systems and you can have 10 simultaneous connections at once. That said, if you enable NordLynx for the fastest performance, only one device can utilize it. Fifth are the additional features. For instance, threat protection is a great ad blocker feature for desktops and mobile devices alike. On higher subscription tiers, its pro variety also comes as an online malware protector and an anti-phishing tool, properly certified as one, unlike any other ad blocker solution. One single downside of any dedicated IP option is the price. It adds to the existing VPN subscription. So is it really worth it? Many users are quite confused by the idea of a dedicated IP, and some even call it a waste of money or useless. And that's understandable. Because of the extra price, some expect dedicated IPs to be just like usual shared IPs, but better. This is not the case. Both options allow you to change your IP and encrypt your traffic. Furthermore, shared IPs are less traceable and provide better privacy as you end up switching IPs each time you recommend. Think of it like changing your outfit every time you go out versus sticking to one set of clothing. At some point, you're getting recognized even if you wear a sharp suit. Good taste, by the way. Now, both dedicated and shared IPs can access geo-locked content, but with a dedicated IP, you are locked to a single region. Then again, if you access a streaming service with a consistent IP, you're less likely to be detected as a VPN user and end up blacklisted. That's one of the things where dedicated IP is better than shared. But do you need dedicated IP after all? Well, let's see in which cases it'll be very effective. One such case is remote access. With a dedicated IP, you can set up remote connections to CCTVs, private media servers, custom software, and other resources requiring a stable, unique IP address. With a dedicated IP VPN, you will also benefit from included encryption to ensure your connection isn't easily breached. This is great for any kind of remote work. A dedicated IP is also great if you're running a gaming server or want to avoid denial of service attacks. It can also help you bypass geo blocks without a risk of getting banned due to a rotating shared IP. In general, a dedicated IP is much better than a shared one in any case where you need a consistent connection without interruptions. So in that case, check the link in the description for a special NordVPN dedicated dedicated IP discount deal. But don't worry if you don't find a dedicated IP useful, shared IPs have plenty of upsides as well. With NordVPN, I have a choice of thousands of servers in 165 different locations worldwide, which is great for anonymity. No need to risk getting flagged by ISPs or streaming services either. A fast server connection will give you a brand new IP that hasn't been flagged before. No annoying CAPTCHA to deal with. With shared IPs, it's also much easier to min-max your internet speed. You could choose a location close to you for an optimal combination of speed and privacy. Considering that NordVPN is currently the fastest VPN on the market, that will not be hard to achieve. While dedicated IPs might be better for streaming with a single consistent streaming service, shared IPs provide a better variety with a bit lower consistency. Plus, shared IPs are much better to maintain privacy while torrenting, if you're into that. 
For most users, the price difference is gonna be the biggest reason to stick with shared IPs. The usual NordVPN subscription is quite affordable and includes a bunch of neat benefits like encrypted storage, advanced antivirus tier security with Threat Protection Pro, and Nord Protect for identity protection. So if you have the money to spare, that bundle is a better value than a single dedicated IP. Of course, you can get an even better value if you get NordVPN with an exclusive discount. Just check the link in the description or scan this QR code for the best deal. So what do you think? Do you need a dedicated IP or are you gonna stick with a shared IP? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Stay safe online. See you soon.